Hello and a very warm welcome to today's video. My name is Uzair and I've got a very special guest and a friend uh, joining us today. Hi, Alex. Hi, Uzair. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Thanks. So before Excited we be get started, yeah, before we get started, I'll just uh, summarize quickly as to what this video is all about and then I'm going to get Alex to introduce himself. So anyone who's um, running YouTube ads, this is the video for you because there's lots of things which you can't do in the interface. And Alex has created an amazing tool which help advertisers like ourselves to leverage the power of YouTube ads and take it to that next level, which most advertisers can't do. So before we get going, Alex, just give us a quick intro as to who you are, where you are based and what do you do? Yeah, I'm Alex King. I'm the founder of Adzula. And I've been in actually Google ads, I'm managing Google ads for clients since 2008. And then um, I moved into software um, in 2015 was when I started work on Adzula. Um, so I, you know, the frustrations as a, as I'm sure you're aware of a Google ads manager is, is targeting. And so I started off building this, this tool as out of frustrations from, from my kind of uh, work uh, for clients. And that was the, you know, finding targeting was, was difficult. It's finding really good targeting for advertisers who need, uh, you know, a really high ROI, especially when they're starting to get high ROI before they can scale. And I found that uh, targeting or finding really specific uh, targeting uh, helped that. And so just to cut a long story short, I built tools to be able to do that. YouTube at the time as well, 2015, 16, 17 was taking off. And so I built tools uh, specifically for YouTube ads targeting. Um, so that's taking you from kind of uh, 2008 uh, to to now. And, and my focus is uh, is doing Adzula and building tools to help YouTube advertisers and Google advertisers to uh, improve their targeting. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing now. So with Adzula, you can, anyone in, anywhere in the world can use it and not just in certain countries. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. So you can use any language in the search and, uh, and then get results for that language. Yeah. Perfect. So let's dive in and give us a little uh, demo as to what it can do. Yeah. So I'll, I'll share my screen with you and before, I think it's good, at least before we, you know, go into, um, exactly, I just share this screen here. And I'll just ask you questions as we go along as well, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. So before we go into the Adzula yeah. uh, part of it, I wanted to, I think, you know, just if you can see this, this is kind of um, where I show people coming to YouTube ads, how to start and think about targeting on YouTube ads. Um, because w w when you, you're starting with YouTube, my philosophy is to start uh, targeted, you know, really highly uh, targeted to your particular audience. And that gives you the highest chance of success so that you can then uh, broaden out and scale. See, a lot of mistakes that people make that I hit that, that you know, come to me is, you know, they, they say, oh, YouTube ads doesn't work, I've tried it. Um, but what, what's happened is what I've found is people often start with the broader forms of targeting yeah. before they kind of learn how to, uh, or even tested their, their offer and their video ad on right. YouTube. Yeah. So what I suggest is uh, starting with placements, which is where you can target videos or channels. I suggest starting with videos, specific videos rather than, than channels. But yeah, start up here, which is where uh, your audience is narrower. So a smaller group of people. Uh, you you don't scale necessarily with, with this form of targeting, but it does help you start with a high ROI or at least test yeah. your offer and see whether you can yeah. uh, get an ROI. And so you can see across here the benefits of uh, placement targeting, 
which is uh, your your audience is narrow. That's a good thing because you're targeted. Uh, often the ROI is higher because you're speaking specifically to someone who potentially, if you choose the right videos, has intent at that period of time. And you can test your new ads without sort of, well, with a lower risk as well. And you don't need as a bigger budget to see whether it's going to work or not. And you've got a lot of control. Yeah. So when you go down this pyramid, this is when you get broader and broader. Yeah. Uh, so keyword targeting and custom audiences or segments, as they're now called, and then other audiences. Yeah. The further you go down here, the broader the, the audience or the bigger the market. And that means that uh, you often need bigger budgets to test things. Uh, the ROI can be lower, which is not a bad thing. It just means that you want to scale. And so your priority is not necessarily a high ROI, but it's, you know, customer acquisition. Yep. And so starting here, and if you don't, you know, seek success, success with placements, then it may not work when you move to these broader targeting methods. That's so right. uh, any questions from, from that? Yeah. I mean, I really love the way you have um, explained this because what most people do is they'll go down to the broad audiences without testing their creatives. And it is so important uh, with YouTube or any kind of video ads, you've got to test the creatives as to whether the message resonates with that perfect audience or not. And if it's not, then you need to either change the video ad or change your landing page if they are clicking on your ad and coming through. So optimizing your creative is one of the first thing you need to do before anyone starts scaling up. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. And you can do this with a lower budget than if you yeah. were to, you know, broaden out as well. Uh, and li like you say, you can test the whole funnel. If you've got a funnel in place, you know, from, and, and also if you're using the videos, which are directly targeted to your audience or your audience is watching and you can't make it work, mm -hmm. generally speaking, it's not going to work at these broader levels. And so, yeah, it's a low risk way of, of seeing whether YouTube ads is working for you or to test yeah. uh, the different messaging, like you say, different offers and things. This is where you can do that. So with so, regards to the placements, you either spend 10 hours trying to find all the uh, various um, channels and videos where you would like your ads to be shown or use something like Adzula. Yeah, exactly. That's why uh, with in Adzula, there are tools for all these kind of uh, different ways of reaching yeah. your target audience. So uh, with with placements, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to go to YouTube, you could uh, type in a search term and, and copy some URLs that way. But uh, you're going to see how how much faster it will be in Adzula uh, to get hundreds of those. So I would you like me to go over to Adzula and, and yeah, show you okay. how? Let's dive in let's dive in okay so let's have a look here so uh, there are several tools as you can see here in adzula and let's let's come up with an example actually of um, a, a business that might be might be running we could be uh selling uh, golf equipment for example that might yeah. be a good example mm -hmm. and what i actually do uh, in Adzula, if I'm looking at a, a market that I don't necessarily know uh, what keywords someone's using, is actually I'll start with keyword search. And in here, there are seven different keyword tools. But what tool I'm going to use first is one that gives me some specific YouTube um, keywords. So these are uh, keywords that people are using on, uh, on YouTube to search. So if I start here with something like, um, if I'm not sure what what they're looking for and i'm selling golf equipment or maybe golf courses yeah. um, that sort of thing i could do golf equipment maybe even something like golf swing golf club you know, like that, yeah. golf club yeah these kind of things and then um now i'm going to get some suggestions as to you know what kind of keywords people are using i'm just going to use the default because i don't need a lot of keywords we can get lots if we wanted to but i'm just going to get the top 10 suggestions for each of those. So we can see uh, what people are using on, on YouTube. So I might choose something like um, golf club reviews, um, even 
golf clubs for for beginners. Uh, it really depends yeah. kind of what you're selling. So yeah. Yeah. Um, just come here and, and find out, you know, what this what the suggestions are, are actually kind of related to what product or service that you're selling. Um, and this doesn't have to be e-commerce. It can be info product. It could be even be business to business. Yeah. You, you yeah. can come here and find out some some keywords. So those green check marks on the right hand side means that that is your search term. Correct. Yes, and these others are the suggestions. Okay. So this is the search term, uh, and these others are suggestions. Uh, so I'm just going to select. I can I can select uh, three keywords here. So um, golf clubs for beginners, golf club reviews, golf equipment. Uh, actually, golf swing. This is an interesting one. I would never have thought oh, wow. of that. Golf equipment for yeah. stroke victims. Never. See, this is the the beauty of kind of using this. Uh, tool to to find kind of find new or new. uncover keywords that you wouldn't have have thought of. Yeah. So uh, now what I can do is because I've done this keyword research, I know that these keywords are being searched on YouTube, and now I can find the videos that rank for those keywords uh, in a YouTube search. So um, in order to to do that, I'm going to take these keywords over to Video Search, uh, which is uh, our tool to find videos that you can then use or add to your youtube ads campaign to make sure that they're relevant yeah. so i'm just going to get the top 50 for each of these keywords and first of all um this kind of is where it already kind of stands out from doing this manually on youtube is that i can use several keywords here and get the results for each of these um and like like you asked earlier you can come here and use uh you know, if you're in a different country, different language, you can use yeah. the the keywords from your from your, in your language. Yeah. Um, and this these filters here, these are, I call them filters because they're not hard, um, you know, criteria. Uh, if you select these, it it just means if you go to YouTube um, in the country that you're at, and then use a specific language, yeah. uh, the results would be whatever they are in that country. So they can often be mixed in terms of the you know language that's used and if i don't so, want to show my videos in a foreign country with a foreign language i can just choose the country as uk us and english yeah but it won't it won't it won't uh, because many channels don't actually say what country they're in yeah uh, on youtube uh, we don't we've we've tested kind of showing only channels that are or say they are in a specific country and the results are very poor because mm. or you know very minimal yeah. so uh these these are just kind of what you would if you were like we're both in england yeah. um but if you if you were in the us um and you went to youtube in the us you'd get similar results to the uk anyway okay. it, what i've found in my testing is that the the biggest determining factor in what the result in the results and what changes the results is uh, the language that you use mm. but um many members of adzula actually uh, really requested to be able to select country and language so um we've we've given it we've given it there as well as a as a filter yeah. so um just to, just to give you an idea i'm, I'm all the settings here is is if I want to get videos as if I was on YouTube, so they, they should be similar. If you wanted to um, change the order or change the priority of your search, uh, you can do that with the order by selection, which you can choose. Let's say if you're looking for recent videos about your topic, then you could do upload date. Yep. Or if you're just looking for the highest views on the topic and not have relevance as the priority, because mm. uh, that would change the results, then you could do that here. So do a quick search and see how fast the results are. Mm. And we've got, cause we selected 50 per keyword. Usually that, well, that adds up to 150, but we've got 144, which means actually we've got some videos that appear more than once yeah. for the keyword. Okay, for the keywords. One very important question for you. Yeah. Now, the recent changes in YouTube ads, and the way the ads are displayed, even though you specify that I only want my video, uh, my ads to be shown on certain videos, they still go ahead and show on other videos. 
So how do we go around it? So it's the way you set up the campaign. If I've understood you correctly. Um, so if I just want with, to show my ads on these 50 videos and yeah. no else. Yeah, exactly. So you set up the campaign with, um, with placement targeting. Usually um, what I suggest set it, um, the settings in the campaign should be are, um, I actually set it up as a, uh, a custom video campaign. So when you get, when you create uh, the, the campaign itself, I go to um, no goals. So don't select any of the goals. So to, to no goals selected and I select uh, the custom video campaign. And then in the settings, the network settings, um, I only select YouTube videos. I uncheck the video partners um, on the display network and I uncheck the, um, the YouTube search. That then says, uh, and there's a video on my YouTube channel um, going through exactly how to oh, set I'll link up. It. Okay, no, I didn't want to digest. That's all. I'll, I'll put that link in the description. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so that is a good important point yeah. though because... I have seen people um, add placements to a campaign and I've seen it very, very significantly um, problematic in terms of they set it up and actually none of the spends goes to the placements that they've, uh, that they've put in the campaign. So it's very, yeah. Yeah. you know, very important. Great. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, that no is really yeah, cool. Because people get confused a lot. Oh, why am I answering somewhere else? So, yes, exactly. So, yeah, and now what we, so we can see a few things. We've got 144 results um, for videos. And actually we break down the results into channels as well. Should you want to kind of look into what channels have posted these videos? Yeah. So that's what the results are. 69 vi channels have posted these 144 videos. Now, uh, something to look at in terms of, you know, how popular is your market? And, you know, is this going to get you some views or, you know, how is this going to spend? What budget kind of do I need? And how many, even how many videos do I add to my campaign? Uh, total views here gives you an indication yeah. of the size of your market. So here you can see 72 million uh, views across these 144 videos. Yeah. And so that's, that's huge. Yeah. You know, um, you're going to get a lot of, uh impressions on your ads if you just target these 144 videos mm -hmm. so what you want to do when you come here is uh make sure that the, the the videos are targeted you know they are relevant so prioritize particularly when you've got a market like this with so many views prioritize relevance does it match what you're going to say in the video ad um does it match what you're selling so in order to kind of do that uh you can go through here and you know look through the results uh, you can delete any any video that you yeah. see that's not relevant. Yeah. And what really kind of saves time is the filters here. So if you see something that you um, that you don't want in the results, mm. um, you know, we used beginners in here, but if we wanted to exclude videos with beginner, we could easily just write it in here, and um, and then that excludes it. And you can use multiple filters like this. So here you can and exclude or include. Yes, exactly. So I could just change to include by clicking this and the plus indicates include videos with that in the title. Yeah. So yeah, if I wanted to just say, actually, I just want videos about, you know, uh, golf clubs, well, I can put golf club in here. Um, and that's in, yeah. So we've got 72 that include that. And also the total views changes dynamically. So you can see, okay. So we've gone from 70 odd million to 24 million. Yeah. So Alex, um, um, for somebody yeah. who's new and they've got small budget, yeah. starting out with YouTube, they can go crazy with a tool like this, but it's so powerful. How many placement would you recommend that one should start with? It's such a common question, but so difficult to answer because yeah the it depends on things like the size of the market so yeah. here is huge mm. and your budget mm. because what you don't want to do is add hundreds of videos to your campaign that's right. and then kind of have your budget spread way too thinly that's right so um if you've 
generally got a small budget, but you've got high views, like a lot here, yeah. then you only really need a uh, hundred placements, you know, a uh, hundred or so. Yeah. yeah. And if you, you can always add more, you know, you don't need to, That's right. you don't need to worry about, um, and you know, you can't of, change it at a later date. And even out, out, out of that hundred, a handful of them will cannibalize the whole budget because they get so many impressions and views. And if that's the case, then I would say if you're not getting the results or the conversions, you just pause them and then keep adding more to it. Exactly. Let others get some impressions. That's an important point, actually, because uh, we talked about the way I would set up a placement campaign. Mm. And that is actually to be able to only show only show on placements uh you have to select maximum cpv or, or target cpm but maximum cpv is the the option that, that you choose and with that that means you're not automatically or that you're not using any automated bidding yeah so that means you have to the onus is on you um to actually say or tell google i don't want to advertise on this video anymore so you, you have to go in weekly or daily depending on you know how much you're spending and go in and pause each of those placements that aren't performing yeah like you said so another another good point to make so yeah um and in, and in terms of uh, the number of videos yeah if you're in business to business for example there may be fewer views on on the videos and so you can add more, more. you can add a couple of hundred videos um and especially if your your budget is bigger so it's kind of trade-off be between yeah. Making sure your budget yep. isn't spread too thinly, thinly yeah. and and yeah. the size of the views or the number of views that those videos are getting. Yeah. Cool. So you got all the you selected all your videos. All you do is copy the URL from here, I guess. That's right. One thing to just check if you want to just you know if you're going through these and you want to quickly check whether uh, you've got any kind of irrelevant videos because depending on how many you results yeah. you select here. Got it. Um, and the further down the results you get, sometimes they become less relevant because YouTube may not have videos that match your target audience um, further down the results. So just have a quick check, sort by views so that you get the highest, uh, the videos with the highest views that have, you know, in your search result come up. And, and then that kind of, because what you don't want to do is kind of add these all to your campaign and find out there's, a video that has millions of views or multiple videos with millions of views that are going to suck your budget just as you say yeah. or dominate the, cannibalize the yeah. uh, the budget and um, and you don't want that happening so and I, I, and they can often be the ones with the highest views can often be the kind of least relevant certainly uh, in some markets so uh, here it looks okay we're on we're on um, we're on target possibly because we had this filter here so if i cleared that filter um, this one has 9 million views, um, but all these look relevant. So, you know, they all look good. So yeah. yeah, if I wanted to target these, just very simply get URLs and copy them. You know, if you have filters in place, you can yeah. choose the filtered ones. Nice. And uh, it's as, as simple as pasting those into your campaign. Yeah. So that was- And also one thing to, to look at here is if you want to narrow it down a little bit further, and you've used several keywords like here, which are kind of related keywords. Yeah. What you can do is click this occurrence column yeah. so that you uh, find the videos that actually rank for more than one of your keywords. So here you can see this, this video mm. actually ranks for two of the keywords. And so yeah. potentially um, if we've chosen the right keywords, mm. then this is going to be a, a better video than, than other ones that yeah. maybe, yeah. yeah. So, they, they'll reach the, the target audience multiple ways, you know, because yeah. they rank for several keywords. Great. No, this is really, really good. Now, earlier on, you mentioned that Adzula can also target video, or not videos, but you can also use um, audiences or other methods of targeting through here. That's right. So we just while we're in video search, I mean, we, we could take the titles you know, so um, let's say so for those videos that occur uh, more than once. So these are ones, these are all the videos that are actually appearing twice in the search results. What we could do is go to video titles 
And these are the video titles for, for those. Well, actually, I'll click filtered to show the filtered ones. And this is kind of a little used technique is uh, use titles as keywords. So mm -hmm. obviously you want to strip out the characters like brackets and things like that, because we can't use those in, uh, in Google ads. Yeah. So uh, we, what you could do is edit these into, uh, into keywords. So how to swing a golf club, simple way. Uh, you could leave it as it is, or you could just use it like this, how to swing a golf club. Um, you could golf lesson, basic swing. Yeah. Could look, like that could be one, another keyword mm. um, and so on. So you could, you could add these as titles, um, these titles as keywords in your campaign. Yeah. You know, your competitors are probably not doing that. So mm. that would be something to, to do. And these are obviously based on really, really relevant videos. So yes. that could be one way. Yeah. Um, another way to, to build audiences would be in, in keyword search, because here, what we do aside, aside from the suggested keywords tool, which uh, gives you some YouTube specific keywords, the rest are actually going to give you Google, um, Google search results. Mm. So there's lots of different ways you can use these keyword tools, for example, uh, using domains, other, you know, competitor domains to find what keywords they rank for and use those. Um, and in YouTube ads, you can actually use custom segments yeah. around keywords. Yeah. Um, and you can use websites as well. And there's tools in Anzula to be able to find websites as well. Uh, but just to give you an example, let's say if we stick to um, golf swing, as our, as our keyword. And you could use multiple keywords in here, but I'm just going to use one hmm. and you can get the related searches. So this is those eight kind of suggestions at the bottom of Google, Google search yeah. engine result page. And you can see these here. Um, we've got the initial keyword and other ones as well. So then, okay, we've got a few keywords here, but if we really, really want to dig into the market, we can actually use what's called um, depth layers. Now, if you think back to the search engine result page at the bottom of the search engine result page, those eight suggestions yeah. are actually clickable. And so you could, you know, go through and click each one and find those results. But this is what this does. It's, it's like clicking on each of these and finding the related um, searches at the bottom of those search result page yeah. pages. So and so you can go two or three layers deep, it, yeah. nice. um, which helps you kind of, from my perspective, if I'm working in a new market or if I'm trying to look for different keywords that I could use in my market, yeah. this is a great way to understand the keyword landscape. What other people searching around those terms? So now we've got 177 different keywords mm. and don't worry about the, the, the number of these keywords. This might look a small number to you, but mm. it's the, the quality of the results. Um, so let's, what we could do is find out uh, what the second depth layer uh, results are. So we started with golf swing. Now we're sort of uh, looking at things like overlapping golf grip. Um, so that doesn't even include a golf swing at all. Yeah. So what we can, so we're getting keywords here that don't include swing. And I can just sort of take out the word swing and see all these keywords that are helping us kind of to go yeah. away from the, like often, I don't know if you found this, but often if you've been doing a campaign for a while, you kind of get stuck in certain yeah. keywords that you use. Yeah. And this is kind of a way to kind of branch out a yeah. little bit. Um, and this, um, and then we can look at another layer, which is the third layer, which is even further away. Mm. And now you can see sort of like v V1 golf app. So you can find out about companies and products uh, that you can use as well in your targeting. And you can use these keywords in, your, you could potentially see if these are, you know, search for on YouTube or if, if there's content. Yeah. So for example, if I wanted to do that, I could go, I'll select this and then send to video search. Mm. And this takes me to video search. I'm not expecting mm. uh, many results or many re relevant results, but there's, here you are. So there are some videos about this. Nice. Um, well, yes, the V1 app. So things like that. So you can use it for that or for using in custom segments where you build your own segments based on, mm. on keywords. I've got a quick question for you, Alex. Yeah. We've got the YouTube placement URLs. Now, 
I haven't done this, but I'm going to ask you whether you have done this or not. Have you used those URLs and made a custom segment audience of people who visit those URLs, i.e. the YouTube video pages? I haven't done that, no. And I think it's it's good to try if you're in a massive market. Yeah. Uh, and particularly you could you could even do it for channels as well to test yeah uh, so no i haven't done it worth testing if yeah. you're in a big market i think if you're in a small market you try to do it with um videos or channels with a small audience yeah. i would expect it not to work very well yeah no thank you because i thought i'll i'll give this a go and see how it how it performs but it's worth trying yeah, and you mentioned that. So if you wanted to do um, a custom audience around URLs or websites that, that rank for certain uh, keywords, then you can use um, the SERP competitors tool in Adzula. Would you like me to show you yeah, that, how that works? Yeah, quickly in there. Yeah, so um, I can choose to uh, to do it with keywords. So I can use all these keywords that i've had that i've got here so if i just choose all of them mm. i can send them to serp competitors you can use up to 200 keywords and the more you use the better the results and i'm just going to leave all the default settings so what this is doing is finding um domains that rank for these keywords so the results will give you um, on google right on on google yeah okay so you can see here golf.com left rough and what you could do is and it gives you some other data here like the number of um Ooh. keywords yeah, this is even keyword more this is, yeah for using as a custom segment audience yeah exactly mm. um and you can open the row and see all the rankings oh. and if you want to there's filters here to be able to kind of narrow the the results down uh, but essentially what you can do you'll get some other sort of domains in there sort of along with it the yeah. rank obviously uh but yeah you could choose the top 10 here yeah. uh or five i would obviously um, leave amazon out of things like that amazon and youtube we can just delete those yeah and use those as a custom segment um so that's a, a really good way of doing it or what you could do is uh, use the domain competitors. So rather than using your kind of keyword universe that you've added here, hundred odd keywords, what you could do is if you want to look at a whole domain and find similar websites to that whole domain and what that domain ranks for, okay. you could, Just you could use the domain com. competitors. Yeah. Golf.com or the biggest yeah, you could, you, website in that niche. Yeah. Mm. So you, you could, um, and th th these, this produces the best results when you've got a domain specific. So if, it, if the domain actually, you know, uh, only produces kind of content that yeah. is relevant to the market. And so you see here now, I actually did that without kind of changing any of the settings, but I actually would recommend, um, changing one setting if you're going to use this. Mm -hmm. And that is that, uh, what this does is gets the top um, relevant or, or similar domains for that are ranking for the same keywords as golf.com in the top 100. That's the default setting. So if we want more focus through results, you know, those uh, competitors that rank in the top 10 on Google for the same yeah. keywords, then, then narrow this down. So that's why you can see here uh that's usa today because it's probably got some rankings in there yeah um maybe even lower but you can still yeah. see that these are these yeah. are no, uh, pretty highly relevant, so. targeted urls for golfing websites yeah exactly and now with the well, video responsive ads we can even target those placements yeah or on the google display network yes exactly so, yeah so it's, it's not just youtube ads that you can use this for you could use it uh, across the the um yeah all the different kind of campaigns that, that nice. um, allow sort of custom segments yeah 
so really useful. And also, if you wanted to, you can sort of go back to keyword search um, by selecting any of these, you know, and finding out uh, the, the top keywords they have yeah. either in common yeah. or that they rank for individually. Mm. So you can, you know, get individual keywords for each domain. And then you could use those perhaps in a custom segment as well. So there's lots of different kind of ways to uh, to do it. And we're kind of nice. going down the rat run here, yeah. but uh, it's, it's, it's important to come back to here to yeah. see, to show you that, that obviously start, yeah. start here. Um, sometimes, sometimes if you're in certain markets, you won't find much content on YouTube for that particular market or, um, or you'll need to broaden out and you can, yeah. you can then go to keywords, but keywords. yeah, I would recommend for most people to start with placements uh, and see how they go. And then you can use these other tools to broaden out once you, uh, once oh. you've tested your ads and got success. Yeah, no, thank you so much. It's been really, really, um, educational and informative and eye opener because it can do some amazing stuff. Now, do you have a free trial or something for anyone to use or how, how, the, how does it? Yeah. So if they, if they go to adsulo.com, uh, you can, if you, if you, yeah, want to take a trial that's uh, it's currently there. Um, so, yeah, take a look. Yeah. Uh, you can also, if you've got any questions, just go to adzula.com and there's a live chat and you can ask me any questions you like. And also for a limited period of time, we've, we've got the uh, consultation. So if you're not sure whether YouTube ads is right for you or you're running YouTube ads, yeah. seeing success and you want to see how Adzula can help you take it to another level, uh, you can organize a call with me. Um, okay. so that's on the website as well no that's good and i'm going to put the this um the url link in the description around the video and alex i want to be respectful of your time as well and i really appreciate you uh coming on this call and giving this um a valuable um educational lesson for everyone including myself as to how to take the youtube ads to the uh, next level so before we wrap up this call alex what would be your top tip for someone starting out on youtube ads my top tip is targeting so if you're starting on youtube ads and you haven't got the right targeting uh it's going to be difficult for you to see success and close a close second i know the top you said top tip but a close second is uh the the video ad itself cool. and making sure that you've got that uh hook that start the first five seconds to get people's attention because if you need to get people to your website and that's that's what you're using youtube ads for yeah. then um you, you need to get their attention first of all yeah. uh, and I, I let's turn it into three tips so first one targeting um the second one is that getting their attention yeah, yeah. and then the third one is um getting that click-through rate because one of the, uh, one of the one of the big mistakes that people who uh, are actually using youtube ads and, and and seeing some success or haven't really or it hasn't really clicked for them yet is click-through rate yeah a lot of people i see focus on view rate because uh that's you're on youtube but view rate is much is a is a is a second place it's or very true third, fourth place you are interrupting someone's viewing pattern and your ad has to be uh, so good with such a great hook that someone gets compelled to stop viewing what they were watching and then click on your ad to go through to your landing page to see what your offer is yeah and uh, you know let's say you've got uh, a good hook or so or uh, you think you've got a good hook because people are staying, you know, you've got a view rate of 30, 40%, but that doesn't matter if they're not clicking through and you, you need people to click through to take advantage of your offer. So, um, yeah, so the hook as actually it has to be good, but if, it, if it's getting people to watch past the 30 seconds, which is when you start paying, yeah. um, then if they don't click, it's, uh, and you're not using it for branding, then it's a, it's a waste. Waste, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, so right. yeah, those are the, the, the three kind of things that, that need to keep in mind. And if you can, 
test a few different sort of in, in intros to the video or the, the hooks or the, the first yeah. five to 30 seconds. Just if you're doing the video, just try to film a few different intros that lead into the main content of the ad. So you cut to the main content. You can keep that potentially the same if you, same. Uh, you know, don't want to film too many. Yeah. Um, so that's what I would do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alex, for your time. Uh, truly appreciate it. And thank you everyone for, for watching this video. If you have any comments, please put them in the description. Uh, we reply to those um, regularly. And if you have any questions, by all means, go to adzula.com. Uh, send uh, Alex uh, a live chat or an email, and I'm sure he will uh, come back to you. So thanks all. We'll wrap this up now, and we'll catch you guys up in our next video. Bye for now.